Hello everyone, I'm FVU Productions and welcome back to another video. Today I will be pulling back the curtain, so to speak, and revealing the future of artificial intelligence created media to you. I don't understand how this stuff isn't more popular already. Basic image generation is getting really popular, I will say that. And I've seen a few comments regarding this, a few messages I've had from some viewers regarding this. But yeah, basically we're looking at the future of media creation in general, and that will be text to video. Before we look into that, I've got a few important things to touch on. First of all, after today, I'm gonna be, uh... MIA. Gone in the wind. For real, guys, I'm just gonna be going on a little vacation, alright? That's right, I'm ditching you. It's gonna be sad, it's gonna be lonely. So, probably no videos until, like, Tuesday. But I'll probably make a few community posts. If you direct message me on Discord, I'll probably respond to you. Speaking of that, everyone, in my description and in my comment section below, I will have my Discord so you can add me as a friend and message me. I wanna hear about, uh, little AI news bits and stuff to make videos about. There's so many little AI projects out there that that I just entirely miss. And I've already had a few viewers send me some really interesting ideas and things like that, so if you got ideas, send them. Other than that, a viewer actually came up with a really interesting concept for an AI video regarding image generation and I need your help to make that video. Video about how different people interpret different ways of creating prompts for AI and then we're going to be visually looking at those when Dolly makes them. But I'm going to be working on that next week. Anyways, I start these videos off with an interesting AI generation. I know you've been staring at these beautiful orange tabbies for a while, but I just wanted to show you what Dolly is really- this is Dolly at its best in my opinion. Photorealistic image. But if it's got a lot of training data, like, darn, do they look good. This looks like a real cat. That would 100% fool me. I would have no idea if that's real or not. This is a flawless image, I think, from Dolly 2. Maybe the whiskers a little bit, but other than that, it's absolutely incredible. Here's, we've got another one. I mean, his face looks a little bit small, but he could just be a chubby boy. This one's, again, almost flawless. And I want you guys to pay attention specifically to the prompt because it said it was taken on an 800 millimeter lens, which is a really far away lens. And that's exactly exactly what it looks like. The depth of field is super shallow and there's a lot of fine details so it really just absolutely nailed this prompt and I wanted to show you flawless work here and uh, except for this one he's a little wonky but almost flawless all the way through with all of these images. Okay, hold up guys. So as you can see, these are my DMs with OpenAI and I sent them this image I generated of an orangutan wearing steampunk goggles. I sent them this image like, do you want to post this generation on your story? I think it came out really good. But they actually just straight up generated a few variations for me like, no, I already got Dolly 2 access guys. <laughs> if you guys want your stuff generated by Dolly 2 and you don't have access, try DMing uh, OpenAI because apparently they do get back to you. So looking towards the future of image generation AI, obviously if we want to one day get to video, first our image AIs need to improve. Well, I'm sure everyone watching this video right now knows about Doll E2. Single-handedly the best image generation AI, right? I mean, how could it possibly get better than uh, Doll E2? Now I've talked about this before, but Google recently uh, showcased their Imogen AI, which is like a Doll E2 clone that they just sort of whipped together it seems. And it's downright shocking shockingly good too. Of course, because Google has access to God knows how much money and just resources in general. So they showcase, you know, how it works, how simple it is, and how great and amazing their model is. I've talked about this before. And then they're like, uh, yeah, by the way, we're never gonna release it to you guys, so, um, you're screwed. But then, not too long ago, they announced a different image AI named Party. And as you can see, Reddit is already on the case about this. And now they're saying that it's better than the image and they released, you know, not just of like a month later. Pathways autoregressive text to image model. So they go through and explain sort of how it works. They talk about how this AI scales from 350 million parameters to 20 billion. Here's a representation of that here. Put this into context. All of these AIs sort of have their own different efficiencies and ways of generating images. You know, Mid Journey versus Dolly 2 versus Google Imogen. But they all have different levels of amount of training. So for example, Dolly 2 2 is 4 billion parameters or similar to this size. You can see this image looks like something Dolly 2 could make. Mid Journey is around this size, 400 million parameters or so. But yeah, Party is 20 billion or almost six times the size of Dolly 2. And don't forget, Dolly 2 makes images that look like that. So what on God's green earth is this thing capable of? Well, it turns out it's 
capable of quite a lot. They go through some basic benchmarks, you know, all of these different aspects. You can go, I'll link this down below if you want to read through it. So you can see, you know, how text uh, increases as the parameters get bigger and also clarity in general. I mean, 3 billion versus 20 billion, there's not really a huge difference here. You know, 20 billion isn't necessarily six times better, even though it's six times the size. You know, maybe this is an example that shows that off. But yeah, pretty cool stuff nonetheless. But there is one thing that we don't hear anything from Google about, and that is text to video. Although I'm sure they're thinking about it. If you watch my video on OpenAI's Reddit Ask Me Anything about Dolly 2, they do mention that text to video is coming in the near future. Not about their own models, but they think that it's on the horizon in general for this uh, technology. But that doesn't stop Dolly 2 users from trying to create their own animations or videos. So this is an example from a user I found on Reddit. I want to give him full credit here. This was by IDCartist3D on Reddit. And if we watch this here, he uses outscaling to create this uh, video animation zoom out here of um, his prompt. And I think it turned out quite amazing, to be honest. You can see it zooms all the way out and Dolly sort of tries to configure, you know, what could this be? And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty amazing stuff. And we can see the hand sort of enveloping it. That's a super cool thing. And then he zooms it back in so you sort of get an idea of, um, yeah, how it all worked. Pretty amazing stuff, I have to say. I really like seeing stuff like this, so fantastic. It definitely takes some skill to be able to do something like that. So we can also see another version with just using more prompts stacked on top of each other playing as a video, and you can sort of see things evolve through Dolly, and it's a really interesting thing to see, but this is still isn't, like, full video, right? Which is what we want to get. We want a consistent uh, thing of images sort of creating a video. While this is still really cool, because we could sort of see the evolution of Dolly prompts. And by the way, check out this guy's channel. He has some really cool videos. He's got another one of these, but I suggest looking at all of these because they're super interesting. Anyways, moving on to the actual revelation in this uh, field. This is real text to video. It exists. It is called COG Video, large-scale pre-training for text-to-video generation via transformers. So we can see it here on GitHub, I'll link this down below. This, folks, this is amazing. Real text-to-video, this is what it looks like, you guys are gonna see this. It's only four seconds, but we got a lot of examples here. Only four seconds, but we can see different animations of the same image, and that is real text to video you can see things changing that's the future right there and you can just tell when you look at it it is crazy to see this looks good too this is not bad i'd say these images are about the quality of dolly mini maybe even a little bit better but you know looking at each and every one of these which one's the most impressive the surfing one looks really crazy this one of a lion drinking out of a glass on the top here is kind of hilarious but we can see there's some real quality here. None of this was shot on a real camera, all just AI generated. And I think this is something like eight frames per second, but this is some real capable stuff. These are sort of like GIFs. That's sort of where we're starting with this technology is like GIF style. But yeah, it is just absolutely crazy to see real AI generated animation. I can't believe one day in the future, we're gonna be able to just type text in and get video clips. Maybe a Dolly video is on the horizon, but yeah. This is truly amazing technology to see at work. I really would love to hear what you guys think about this. Everyone's worried about, you know, painters and artists and graphic designers losing work. Well, this is some next level stuff. Entire movies could be AI generated or shows. Here we've got generated samples. Um, we can see each frame playing out here and their text description. So a man skiing, woman running in the beach. And by the way, I think this is all translated from uh, Chinese because I think this is Chinese developed. Honestly, COG video kind of nailed it, too, if you go back and watch what we were talking about. This one has a lot of frames, the man running. Four second clip, 32 frames shown. Again, eight frames a second or so. So pretty high frame rate video for this technology just sort of appearing. And I haven't seen anything that even compares to this. So if you guys know of any video generation that even compares to this, let me know. But so far, this is the only one that I know of. And yeah, this is this is seriously, seriously next level. So OpenAI has got to get on this. We've already got... <laughs> like a little AI that's capable of, you know, very limited video generation. And this isn't very popular. Not a lot of people know about this. So that's kind of the main reason I'm making this video. But really, honestly, I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. This is some insane 
next level stuff. But yeah, go check out some of my other videos, and I will see you guys next week with a new video. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.